welcome to my channel. My name is Tyler, your friendly lo-fi and ambient music producer. Today, I'm going to share one of my favorite plugins for the automation and transition sounds. So recently, I have explore easier ways to use automation and add more movement and also make the transition more interesting so let's dive in so recently i got this baby audio transit plugins and i felt like it is very convenient for me to make the automation also for the transition because if you know me i'm just using the one sample for the transition and also every time i'm just using the same one so i'm trying to figure out how i can make more interesting and also more movement and also more different sound before and also this plugins i feel like you can use it as a multiple effects because you can see here got a box that you can add different uh, effect sounds in here then you can see you can add a lot of chorus big crusher and other this is the mix knob that how much mix you want and you can see that there is a lot of button are turning that means when you just need to press one knob and then they will automate all the knobs for you this is my boring for me because i can't make this automation by myself to be honest so let's see what i come up with first thing i'm just discovered this very nice preset sounds because recently i really like fn sound that's very bright and the crystal feelings for me and this is also a pigment preset so the b4 sounds like this very beautiful and i just come up with this melodies and basically it is looping all the track and i really really like this sounds this is just a demo track and i haven't finished it so let me know in the comment below will you want me to release it or finish it so after that i added a run for the reverb and use this preset and add some delay sounds to add more movement and eq just cut the low and high and also because a bit bright for me and i just add rc20 to get it more warm after that the sounds will be like this spacey vibe so i'm just feeling this one is super nice for the spacey vibe so i added the first transit plugins to my track then i just draw a automation here to transit the intro to the hook of the track basically i'm just open this one to use the transit and the control knob that is this knob so you can hear the sounds will be like this and also you can see the knob and all the buttons are moving <music> this 
this is a bit subtle because I'm layered the three layers to make the transit more wider. So just stay tuned for that. So the second one, I added a bass sounds, just a logic stop bass Liverpool. And then I added some more percussion sounds. And this is from Sand Meditation Plugins. And this plugin is perfect for someone who wants to make the meditation and also ambient music. And I also got a video right here. Have a listen what I come up with the ambient size. And also I used the SP Pro 4 to play around it. So this is just the bamboo charms. I just want to add some percussions right here and then basically I'm just at the EQ and also I'm added a wave sounds and add some reverb on it and EQ then you got this very spacey watery sounds So you just hear there is three layers of the transition and this is my bull because I'm never try to use these sounds to make my track for the transit. So the second one I'm added this charm, it is a sample and then I make it as a very wide panning to go through your ears. I'm just using this delay preset and also I'm just automate this knob. So it will be sounds like this. Very, very beautiful. I really enjoy making some sounds too transits to your ears in the space very beautiful so the next transaction i put it in this bamboo and then i also use another preset it is a noise down like i just put a noise sample and make the transit but this one can be combined just use your track and just add this plugin and control this knob to make it this bamboo sounds like this very very nice and also you can hear the tail still in the background so if i combine these three layers so in this track i try to add some more background sounds it is also from pigment and I just added two notes of it in from this preset. And I add EQ, add some delays, and tremolo. Maybe like this. And then I added a pad sounds. I really like to add pad because they will help your track to make it more depth. And this is a preset from content. And I'm just EQ and add the room for the reverb. It sounds like this. Here, if I take it out, there will 
be sounds like missing something in the mid low range. So I really like to put a pet sounds to fill up that range of the space. So after that, this is a vocal sounds I really like. It is also from Logic Stop Looking Alchemy. This preset. I really really like I use it a lot of time in my previous track. So basically the sounds is already so good. Then I add the EQ and ROM for the reverb to make it more wider. So airy, so wide space sounds. I'm trying to use the transits in this way and you can hear the sounds will be more movement in the background rather than just one note. So I just use this preset and also again I just control this knot to draw it a bit. So you can see and also here there will be more movement into the mix will become sound super good in this track. So for the drum part, I'm just only use the uh, some sample and make it a very easy groove like this. For the snare, I just added some reverb to make it feel like the overall vibe like in the space, very spacey snare. So recently, I also find a very easy way to make the groove to make more like human. I'm using this pattern region and then we can try to adjust different offset to make it more not really on time. Then you will have the lay back feelings. Also you can try to adjust different philosophy. And also I did some more offset so it will be like this. Sometimes we will add the transition between the chorus to the break and sometimes I will just group it my drums and add the EQ to automate the EQ like this. But now when I using this transit plugins, then I use this preset automate the last note. Then you will got this. So basically you can use another plugins to make this one. But I feel like this plugin it is very easy for me. And then I just one click and then it is all done. And also this is not a sponsored video, I just got this and I really like it. So sometimes we also will try to automate to put one bar to make it sounds more cut a lot of high to make it a bit muddy. And then I try to add in the break part. So I just add this plugins in the master track. And then I try to find this one 
preset I'm sitting in a room then I just bring it up into the break and then it will be sounds like just an idea that you can try to use these plugins in different parts of the track. Also in the drum part you can see I use it as the before the break and before the end of the track and also I can try to add some in between the track. Then the last thing is my Yamaha silent guitar. Before I added the plugins, my guitar sounds like this. Then I added a EQ to boost a bit this range and also cut a bit the frequency. I don't like it. And the reverb for the native instruments. And then I added this plugins. I just use this acoustic guitar B preset. Then add some more movement for using this delay. And also I really like this to mix my guitar to make some chord sounds. This is from Baby Audio again. But this is a free plugin so you can just download it. There are just two knobs and one to on off and then try to use the mix for how much you want for the chorus sounds and then i really like to add soup 2 to my guitar so the sounds will be like this so beautiful <laughs> I never try it to add some automation in my guitar but I feel like it is very fun to edit right here just before the outro and then I automate from this preset so it is just fun to play around with it sounds like this <laughs> So basically this is how I use these plugins in my music. Also I already did a lot in my other project. It is very good and easy to add some movement. I hope you enjoyed today's videos. If you would like me to introduce more plugins in the future, just let me know in the comment below. So here is the little part of the track. See you in the next one.